Hello, hi, my name is Srikant. In today's session, we're going to look at the integration between Amazon S3 and Datasphere systems. In this picture, you can see AWS platform services on the right side, and we have BTP, Cloud, and Datasphere service on the center. And in this picture, we can notice that the data flow integration between Amazon S3 and Datasphere. We can also see the Redshift and Athena integration in Datasphere. Uh, there are standard connectors available for Redshift and Athena also in Datasphere, but uh, they are not in scope for today's session. So the focus will be S3 to Datasphere integration in today's session. So we're going to create a connection using standard connector for S3 in Datasphere. And then going to create a data flow object in Datasphere to read the data from S3 bucket. The files can be available in S3 bucket folders, and then we're going to read those files and store them in Datasphere local tables. That's going to be ob the objective of this today's session. I'm going to switch to my Datasphere application. And here you, I have connections already prepared. So I'm going to create a new connection. And then I can look for S3. That is going to be simple storage. That's here. Also, I have connections available for Athena. This is the connection standard connector for Athena. I do have a connection available for Redshift, which is the database or data warehouse in AWS platform. We're not really good, as we already discussed, Redshift and Athena are not in scope for today's session. So we're going to focus on S3 only. That's going to be simple storage. Click on the information button to see what is possible. You can see data flows and replication flows. Uh, S3 can be used as the source and target. Target is in the terms of premium outbound, out, outbound integration from Datasphere. You wanted to process the data externally to the cloud service applications. But for today's session, we are only considering S3 as the source. So for that, we're going to use data flows objects in Datasphere to read the data from S3 files and load it into Datasphere local tables. I can create a new connection. And then I'm going to uh, provide some parameters in the connector. I will leave the endpoint as default, S3 Amazon AWS.com. And protocol also same, HTTPS. I'm not going to change any root path. I don't want to give any specific folder path for accessing the S3 up system. I'm going to keep it. Uh, wide open. So if I wanted to show you how my folders and bucket uh, are set up, I can switch to my AWS platform account. So you can see I'm in S3 bucket. I'm going to go to the S3 main page, and then I can see the content in the S3 storage. Clicking on general purpose buckets, I can see a bucket AI launch. And then inside that bucket, I have a data set folder and I have a couple of folders of, oh, sorry, CSV files. So I'm going to read these CSV files and load it into Datasphere. So I don't want to restrict any of the folder access in Datasphere by using this connection. So I wanted to give the root path as wide open. For that, I don't have to create or provide any root path here. And then next one is server-side encryption. For this particular scenario, I'm not really uh, having the server-side encryption set. So I'm going to leave this as false. Roles, yeah, I'm not applying any security roles to make a filter or restriction on the data that I'm going to access from S3 using this connection. So I set this as false. And then most importantly, we have to provide access key and secret key parameter values here. I did have these parameters generated using identity access management in AWS portal or platform. I can show you how do I do um, in the identity and access management um, service of AWS platform. You can manage access keys specific to S3 bucket. So after you choose the service keys portal, I can generate an access key from this place. I already did one access key generated, so I'm going to use this access key to input my connection. 
I have copied and pasted here. So I'm going to use this um, access key and secret key and input in my connection. The secret key is just going to take this value and put it in. That's all I need to do and click next step and give the name as AWS S3 integration. Uh, create connection. Perfect, my connection has been created. I can validate this connection by selecting that connection and then say validate. This is good. I can create uh, replication flows and data flows. For this example, I'm going to use data flows to read the data from S3 bucket. I can go to the data builder and then choose new data flow. A new data flow canvas or window open. I will click on the sources and then connections. I'm going to pick the connection that I just created. This is the one. And I have access to the root folder, AI launch, and then I can pick my CSV file from the data set folder. All good. I got the sales transaction CSV file. Then once I have this one here, I can connect this to a target by adding the connect connectors here. So I'm going to pull a projection and then start connecting it. And then I can add a template for as a target. So that's pretty much, uh, if I wanted to do the data display of the uh, sales transaction data file, you can see this is displayed correctly here. That's it pretty much. Uh, we have integrated S3 system in DataSphere application, uh, read the data from CSV files of the S3 bucket and load it into your local table. I hope this is going to help you for detailed training on the data sphere. Please reach out at sorumpalias at gmail.com. Thank you. Bye for now.